good morning students i welcome all 600 students to new academic year myself amit yadav and i am going to teach you mathematics students today we are going to start with chapter 2 angles let's recall what we have done in the previous years students we have learned that hands of the clock they make angle with each other hands of the caesar they also make angle with each other similarly pages of the textbook make angles with each other so we know that how an arm moves to make different angles students now we are going to learn how to write the name of the angle vertex of the angle and arms of the angle you can see there are three angles shown on the screen first one angle p y r so how to read the angle we have to make sure that the vertex of the angle must be in between so i can read it as angle p y r or angle r y p so i can read it in two ways similarly i have another angle angle l m n or i can read it as angle n m l so we have to make sure that the vertex has to be in middle okay similarly we have one more angle which can be read as angle b o s or angle s o b so now it is clear that vertex of the first angle is y and second one is m and third one is o so vertex is a point where both arms of the angle join now next arms of the angle so we can see that arms are nothing but two different rays so we have already learned that how to read the rays so we always start with the end point so i'll read it as yr and yp for second one the names of the arm is ml and mn whereas for third one it is ob and os students now we are going to learn different types of the angles first one you can see when both arms of an angle are on one upon each other then it is called as zero angle the measure of zero angle is written as 0 degree so we measure the angle in terms of degrees similarly the next type is acute angle an angle greater than 0 degree but less than 90 degree is called an acute angle next right angle an angle of 90 degree is called a right angle
now obtuse angle an angle greater than 90 degree but less than 180 degrees is called an obtuse angle whereas an angle with its arm in opposite direction is called a straight angle a straight angle measures 180 degree then a reflex angle is greater than 180 degrees and less than 360 degrees so that means any angle which measures between 180 and 360 will be called as a reflex angle and at the last we have complete angle the measure of a complete angle is 360 degree so when initial arm of an angle completes one rotation and it comes back to the initial position again so we call it as complete angle so measure of a complete angle is 360 degree Students, we can see in our surrounding applications of the angle like ferry wheel at the fair, then twisted fan made of the paper or cloth, then seesaw in the garden. So you can see how they are applications of the angle. Students, now we are going to solve practice set 2. First question is match the following. So you can see both the columns we have measure of the angle and type of angle. So we have already studied different types of angles. So let's match 180 degrees is straight angle as we have studied that an angle with major 180 degrees called as straight angle 240 degrees students any angle between 180 and 360 degrees is called as a reflex angle so second one will be matched with option c third one 360 degrees so an angle with measure 360 degrees is called as complete angle so third will be matched with d and zero degrees so the measure itself says that zero angle zero degrees means zero angle so we will write answer like this 1 b 2 c 3 d and 4 a Okay, instead of using arrow mark, here it has been shown as an indication. But we have to write answer like this. We will write the options, the correct option in front of the numbering. So 1B, 2C, 3D and 4A. So that is how you can write the answer. Students, let's see second question of practice set 2. The measures of some angles are given below. Write the type of each angle. So we can see different uh, measures are shown over here. First one 75 degrees. 
so an angle between 0 degrees and 90 degrees is called as acute angle so our answer is acute angle 0 degree means 0 angle 215 degrees so hence any angle between measures 180 degrees and 360 degrees called as reflex angle so 215 will write as reflex angle fourth one 360 degrees 360 degrees called as complete angle next fifth one is 180 degrees we know that 180 degrees is called as straight angle an angle with measure 180 degrees is called as straight angle we have already uh, done with the definitions 6 1 120 degrees so any angle between 90 degrees and 180 degrees called as obtuse angle so 120 degree will be named as obtuse angle similarly 148 degrees will also be named as obtuse angle and the last one 90 degree we have already learned the definition an angle with measure 90 degree is called as right angle Now, today's assignment. Students, from practice set 2, we have done problem number 1 and 2. And I am giving you third and fourth as an assignment. So, you all will try these questions on your own. Answer for both questions will be shared with you in the next lecture. So, you can see third one is look at the figures below and write the type of each of the angles. So, figures are shown A, B, C, D, E, A. You have to write the question, draw the figures using scale and pencil. And then below that you will write name of the angle. Similarly, fourth one, you have to use a protractor to draw an acute angle a right angle and then obtuse angle so we have already discussed about the acute angle a right angle and an obtuse angle so you all will try both questions i'll give you answer for both questions in the next lecture thank you students